Hello ladies and gentlemen knights, and welcome back to the round table. My name is Magic Knight and today we are in episode 2 of the Bailey. Yes. Again, weird name, but as I saw I did get a few views on the description of how the series is gonna go. Basically, like I said, the Bailey is an enclosed part. So basically the village of a whole kingdom. Um but for the first 10 minutes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get farming, like a priority at the moment. And then for the um, last 20, it's going to be for caving slash uh, caving and um, shirt mining. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to get some cows in here as well. Uh, actually, I'll probably get the cows in a different area. Don't know where yet. I need to get a lot of wood for that. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put the cows in a dark oak fence. And I don't have food. Which really, really sucks. But that's how that's going to go for now. So, I'm going to come back when I have chopped at least two of these trees down. And then made the fence and all that I'm going to need for it. I do have wheat so I can get that done and then I'm also going to come back while I'm setting up a wheat farm and while I'm also setting up the fence. So I'll see you ladies and gentlemen knights then. Okay ladies and gentlemen knights I am back. I just chopped down two of those big oak tree, uh, big dark oak trees uh, and got plenty of fences and a nice uh, gate for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this area out by that. Collect everything I can, seed wise, because I'm going to need as many seeds to create a nice wheat farm. Uh, I just want to clear this right, right here if, you know, everything would go the way I want it to, which it's not. I'll just throw this last bit like that. Okay. So what I want to do is I kind of want to carry it off of this. Which I can easily go from there like that. I guess like that would work. I should have known better. Let's do it like that, and then let's continue it this way. And go this way like this. Da da. Okay, we got a nice little place where we can put our cows once we get them. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a stone hoe because that's I would say that's the best one to create at least. Start a tiny wheat farm. Go ahead and do that. And um, we'll do it right here actually. Right next to the cows. We'll grow it right next to the cows. Cows will see what they're going to be fed. So let's just go ahead and let's do a simple. Should be good. Okay. Get the seeds out. Go ahead and start planting them. Okay. That should be good. Okay. So now I'm going to take the journey once I come in here and collect the weed I have. I'm going to go ahead and take that quick journey to find two cows. And I'll come back once I actually have the two cows. So I'll see you, ladies and gentlemen, it's then. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, knights, as you see here, we had gotten three cows, which I think is actually really, really good. But I do need food. <laughs> I'm going to kill a few pigs, not all of them, but just, you know, a few. Okay, I think two will be good for now. Um, we still got our wheat grown. Uh, we need it to grow faster, but... 
Unfortunately, we can't have it grow faster at this moment in time, which kind of sucks, but for right at the moment, that's going to be my fuel in the furnace to get that going. I'm going to go ahead and put that up. Uh, go ahead and add that there. And I'm going to fish as well because I want to see if I can get anything good. Um, but like I said, the first 10 minutes was going to be of that. Uh, that kind of ran a little shorter than I thought it was going to. And I don't want to have over like 25 minutes of me just mining. So I'm going to fish a bit. See if I can get any uh, good loot. Like an enchanted book. Maybe a name tag. Something that would be good. Uh, food would still be good too. Because uh, I don't have that much. So getting food. Uh, fish basically would be a great idea. I had caught one cod earlier, which I had cooked and ate. I cooked it and ate it. Um, but yeah, so let's see what we can get by just fishing in the uh, ocean here. I do like this little beach, especially that little island. I want to do something with that little island maybe one day. Make it a bigger island or just clear that whole island out and make a nice huge beach around here. Make it tons of sand. And then have uh, basically a nice uh, nurture center for a whole bunch of turtles. So that way, you know, the beach could be filled with turtles. Get the turtle scoot so that we can, I can get a uh, turtle shell helmet. I don't know what it's really called, but like the helmet that you get from the turtle scoots, which would be pretty, pretty interesting because it has respiration on it, I'm pretty sure. Or it gives you respiration no matter what without having to enchant it. So, that would be a good thing. Uh, let's go ahead and catch one more thing at least. My game just cheated me out of a fish. I do not like that. Uh, the pork chops should be about done. I really want to be able to breed the cows at the moment, but I'm not going to be able to. Not until those grow up more. Um, so yeah, any eggs in here? Yep, there's one, and you haven't laid any eggs, so... Oh, we got another chicken. So yay for that. Um, what I mean by caving also is I want to cave around here. So basically find all the little caves that are like right over here. Like I'll show you where one is. Oh wow, pork chops give you a lot of health. Um, there's a hole down here that leads to a cave that has some iron in it. Pretty sure this is part of the same cave. There's a hole over here somewhere. Where is it? Not here, but right there. Like, I want to explore those, so I'm gonna light this up right here. Basically, this whole little indented spot. Because it looks very interesting. And then I'm gonna light up. around here basically so that way I know that there's a hole here and I could easily fall down in it so that's just to give me a warning of where I'm at so let's go in here I don't have any coal so what I'm going to do is I want to get rid of these birch trees right here so we're going to go ahead and mine them. I don't use birch for decorating or anything like that. The only thing I use birch wood for is to make crafting table sticks or coal. And I really need charcoal, so I'm going to come back when I have the um, charcoal I'm going to need. So I'm going to just start and use back of that so i'll come back when that's all finished and then we can start going caving once i have all the torches ready so i'll see you ladies and gentlemen knights then okay ladies and gentlemen knights i have all the torches made up from the 12 pieces of charcoal i grabbed some extra wood grabbed my crafting table and cooked up the other two fish i had because i am going to need a lot of food when i do this Keep going that way, please. 
Oh, it's look like they are billing the area. Oh, there's a cave right here too. I'll search that one later. What I want to do is I want to get in here without being seen by those guys. Okay. Successfully made it. Nothing in here. Uh, it was just a risky move I did. To see if there was anything in there. And they have gone a completely different way now. Okay, but let's go ahead and search this one. Okay, this leads up there. Okay. Oh. Okay, it somewhat leads up there. Where am I? I literally saw iron not so long ago. Where to go? Am I blind? I swear I saw iron. I might just be blind. Clear that out. I don't like tall grass. Creepers are easily hidden by it. Let's go ahead and just put a torch down. I hear a dying zombie. Which normally isn't good. And same with the skeleton. Okay. Zombie villager. Okay, so that led in the circle there. I'm just trying to light this up so that way I can easily come through it and mine everything. Creeper wouldn't interrupt almost every single time. That would be great. Okay. I'd like to test this. some. Okay. I think I got most of it done, so let's just go ahead and start grabbing all of this iron right here. Um, again, I'm hoping to get down lower, if not, at least get all these resources out by the end of this video. Um, but yeah, so the reason I have recorded and uploaded more this week is because I actually uh, quit my last job. And I'm in the middle of basically getting hired at FedEx, which I'll be working uh, night shifts, basically 7, seven to uh, midnight, I think it is. Um, but with along with that, I'll be able to actually record a lot more than I used to because... I'll only be working 7 to 12, allowing me to have basically like come home, sleep, wake up about like probably noonish, probably hopefully sooner than that, get on and uh, record basically is what I hope to do. And if I can, then I'll have a more.
more sustainable uh, schedule, basically, of how I record. And if not, then oh well. Let's get this creeper in the water. Come on. this place up. Tons of iron, meaning we're not going to have to worry about armor that much. I do want to, at least in the next episode, I will get down towards the bottom. Hopefully getting um, diamonds. But, if not, that's totally fine. Uh, this area is, I don't want to like rush getting diamonds and stuff, because that's normally how I die in the first place, is I don't cherish getting all the minimal resources that I can get, all the food that I could get before trying to rush to get enchantments, rush to the nether to basically scale across the lava and find a fortress or a bastion, which I really don't choose bastions because I just don't like the bastions whatsoever. So you don't get Go ahead and do that. Get rid of that water flow. I don't care about that part of coal. I'll go ahead and grab this one though, because this is right here up on the open, and I didn't want to get one where I wasn't going to explore yet. So let's just go ahead and grab all this. Um. So yeah. Uh, but I am. Uh, thank you. Thanks to my uh, analytics, I have checked. I am actually six subscribers away from hitting my first goal of 50 which I am very very excited to hit if I can hit it pretty soon because I have my uh, about me part of my channel set up for that like once I hit the 50 mark I write the I write it out like I write the date that it happened and all that which would be really really good to happen um, and stuff like that uh, but yeah so let's go ahead and just go ahead and get all this iron because there is tons of it. I don't know where I got these mushrooms from, but that's totally fine. I'll find some use for them. So let's go ahead and continue collecting this iron. This cave is filled with it. Let's go ahead and put that right there. Oh, am I missing? Yeah, I am. I'm missing iron. I'm going to collect every single piece I can. Go ahead and get this right here. I feel like in the next episode I will start off in this cave because, I mean, hey, it's a good cave. There's tons of iron and tons of coal. Nothing basically keeping me away. All the mobs that I keep coming again, coming up across, are pretty easy. Uh, besides that one creeper that did explode, I uh, really didn't want it to explode, but you know, things happen can't control them excuse me but yeah so let's go ahead and go back and collect all the iron that I missed I got some on the floor here I'm normally pretty good at looking higher not lower for iron so I'd say that's my fault at that point oh uh, what was up here was there iron? yes there was there's also a cave entrance up here as well 
don't want anything spawning up that way. I am running low on my pick, though. That's kind of upset. But, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'll be fine with all this um, iron I'm finding. I have already over a stack of iron, so let's keep going until we get more. I do plan later on in this series to create a... Uh, create a uh, iron golem farm but that's once I do find uh, some villagers whether it's zombie villagers that I convert to actual alive villagers but you know it is gonna be what it is an iron golem farm will be I wouldn't say easy to get but uh, more sustainable to get I'd say because I'm not going to eat that yet, just in case I'm going to need it. Probably have tons of things spawning up by my house at the moment, but that is fine. Because I'm down in the cave. If they want to come get me, they can. I also plan on trying to figure out more on how to uh, live stream. Figure that out so that way I can do some uh, live streams. Uh, one live stream in particular that I really want to do is uh, basically a quarry. Uh, digging out a. Digging out a. Uh, either a 50 by 50 area or a 25 by 25 area. Either or is going to give me plenty of resources that I will need. Uh, probably tons of uh, obsidian because doing that I would hit lava which I would need the diamond picks to get obsidian. Uh, all this that I'm saying is going to be after the uh, ender dragon. Which again I'm kind of not rushing towards because every time I do I end up uh, dying in some way shape or form. Um, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that in this series. I want this series to actually last till after the Ender Dragon, till after the Wither, all that, until I have completed almost every single achievement, created almost every single type of farm on a mass expansion, especially the potato farm. The potato farm's never gonna die off with me. I'm always gonna keep building a potato farm no matter what gets in my way. That's always gonna be my number one priority is a potato farm. Okay, so let's see here. I need one of these. I know that's a waste, but I really don't care at this moment in time. I need another pick, so I'll come back when that's all smelted. So I'll see you, ladies and gentlemen, nights then. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I had went ahead and smelted six pieces actually to create two iron picks, just to so that way I wouldn't have to do that again. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna lock up that lava put a torch right behind it so that way it keeps this place lit and I'm gonna continue on uh, this is probably gonna be led to a dead yep okay so that led to a dead end sadly but you know pretty sure there was another part that I still got have to go back and explore because I kind of stopped and turned around at that point in time so let's go ahead and go back that way Find where that oh I almost got Never mind this. Okay, this is a big pocket. I've been finding big pockets of coal lately. I'm not complaining because that actually helps me with really a lot of things because I run out of coal. I uh, kind of use it willy nilly, especially on torches because torches I use every single time I go caving even though I leave my camera all the way up so that way it's easier to see in caves when you first go in them but let's go ahead and come back up this way then because I'm pretty sure if I'm correct the place that I went to and then came back around was up this way I did see that that's gonna be fun to explore 
think I need to... It was... It wasn't this way. Where was it? There's a spot that led me back to, like, sand or whatever. I think it was actually up this way. Up here on the left. Yeah. It was up this way. I want to go this way. Basically. I'm go this way. See what I can find going this way. So I feel like it would be very, very interesting to see what there is. And there's nothing. Okay. So let's go ahead and get all the iron that was over here. I should be almost at two stacks about now. Even though I did use six. Yeah. I am very, very close to two stacks of iron. Which is a good thing, because then I can create anvils eventually without having to deplete all my iron resources. And that quarry that I was talking about, that once I get my live streams up and running perfectly fine, will happen because that can give us a lot of uh, coal, iron, hopefully lots of diamonds too, if I can get a fortune pick at that point in time. This last pork chop I have. I know that puts me out of food, but I'm not going to run until I am back at the surface. This coal I can get because that's not going to update any of that. It's just two pieces, so might as well light that place up. I don't want that to you know, get too dark. Nope, uh, too far. I gotta go up just a bit more. And here we are. Ow. way first. Oh, I'm low enough for uh, gold. Torches, come on. Get to my torches faster. And here's a good ravine too. Okay. So, we found a ravine. Another ravine. Uh, this is the second ravine. The other one that I found was a surface one that actually led all the way to the surface. Let's go ahead and grab this gold if we're going to need it for when we do go into the nether, though. Okay, so this leads to the surface of the ravine. Which I see there is a whole bunch down there. So that ravine will be explored in the future. And hopefully give us a lot of good resources. Two stacks should be fine. Let's go ahead and mine this iron right here. So. We should be... Yes, we're starting on our third stack of iron. I am happy about that. But what we're going to do is we're going to go the opposite way of the ravine. Because I don't want to go in there yet. I want to continue getting all the simple resources that I have been getting lately. Just the iron and coal. Oh, we got a bow. Sweet. Okay. But what I want to do is I want to continue mining this coal right here. Uh, we are coming up on the 30 minutes, so I'm going to kind of end this video off here. I'll probably pick up back at my house, so basically I'm going to finish mining this. And head back up to the surface. But to end this uh, video off, basically, I'm 
the question of the video is, what is your dream job? Uh, I can easily tell you mine. Mine is to become a veterinarian. Um, but whatever your answer is, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section below. And then I will uh, get to it eventually. I'll heart it. And uh, possibly reply to it. I'll try and reply to every single comment I can. But other than that, we are done with our gaming session for this episode, and I'll see you all in the next one, so farewell.